I'm like they're having a little meeting in there. Got one of each flavor. And I'll fold this. How should I do this? I don't wanna just like ruin it. But I guess I have to, right? I wanna eat it. Mmm. This one might be matcha, it's green. Mmm. Man. Okay. <laughs> Let's end it at that.
가는 길에 그거 있었다 이거. 약간 시부야 스크램블 그쪽으로 가자. 아. It's not. Uh, this is from a spot on a uh, or near the or right on the Shibuya Crossing, the famous Shibuya Crossing a spot called the Ginza Cozy Corner, and it was just like a, an assortment. You can get it singles too, but I asked for the set just because I ended up putting it in a locker because I had to walk around more. And yeah, that's pretty convenient. They have like lockers and stuff. It's right on Shibuya Crossing, pretty much. Like, you won't have to go far to get there. But pretty much Shibuya Crossing has a whole bunch of stuff, because I grabbed some other stuff there too. Not just like shopping and fashion and stuff, but like, you know, treats. That's good. I like just enjoying my time at this spot before we head to the next spot. I'm on a tour, so. You, surprisingly, you get a lot of free time. Well, I only had like one day of tour so far, so. Yeah. This is totally going on the vlog. <laughs> and uh, the box is pretty cool that it came in. I didn't know it was going to come in the box. I learned how to take a bus. It's pretty simple. I was just following Google Maps too, but it's pretty much you use your IC card, scan it, and then it pays for the whole trip. It's a set amount, so. Yeah. Set amount, I think it was like 220 yen for one ride. It doesn't matter how many stops you, you ride for, but there is an end of the line, so. If you look for the bus that's pretty much going in your general direction and it has the right number, you're set. <laughs> right number or right stop. So that was fun. I learned something new. It was only like my second full day here. It's exciting, exploring, learning. Pick these up at the Shibuya Sky Store, <laughs> right inside. Magnets. Oh, so cool. I like to collect magnets at places I've been to. Kind of like a, a little travel memento. Ooh, God.
They have everything here. And this is one far. So you know how you hear there's not like there's not really a lot of gas or uh, trash cans around in Japan, at least in Tokyo. I usually see at least these, but these are only for plastic bottles, etc., cans, recycling stuff. So there's that. All right, so I got some some food from 7-Eleven. I wanted to try something out, something I've seen on Instagram a lot, like of course the egg salad sandwich from 7-Eleven. But, but, <laughs> you open it, right? So we have one piece of paper right here prepared. You open this up. Okay, and then bam. The family chicky from Family Mart. Family chickens? Right there. Let's take a picture of this before I go crazy. Alright, we cut back in. <laughs> okay, and you look at you got the combo, right? Look at it. Obviously it'll taste good because both of them individually taste good and they have similar flavor profiles. I mean mother, son. <laughs> but yeah. Egg chicken. <laughs> and first bite. Mmm, yes, it's a yes. It's crazy, it's flavor on flavor, dude. Mmm, that is great. I actually bought four of them. Mmm, storybook ending. All right, round two. So before we tried the, the regular family chicky with the egg salad sandwich from 7-Eleven. And this time we'll try the spicy fried chicken. All right, this one looks like a little bit more presentable. It just looks like you have like cheese on it or something, but look at that. Okay, can't deny. The allure, my god. Mm. I saw a comment. This is like a regular comment that's passing through uh, on someone's post of this, and they were like, That chicken's not cooked. It's cooked. Mm. I think what it is, is both of them just have like crazy umami flavor. You know what I mean? Umami is like... It's like some flavor essence, right? The essence of flavor. <laughs> mm. But that's why they blend so well. The chicken and the egg. <laughs> Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Same time. Same time. The flavors came at the same time.
But you know what? Home is where the heart is, so. There was this place called uh, Mi Tokyo or something. Or My Tokyo, maybe. And. I want that. And then while I was watch uh, winning that, a Japanese couple saw me. Yes. I just gave it to them. <laughs> And then I just left. <laughs> um, so that was fun. It was a good two days. Two and a half days. I made the most of it. Mm. I just gotta remember to keep my energy level so that I don't burn myself out. So just eat. It's really juicy, that's why. And then like, uh, the skin, the batter around it, it's just like a whole bunch of flavor. And it's so convenient. I was looking for this thing for um, someone I know. It's, um, it's like doll thing or something, Sunny Angels. It's like collectible. I went to like, I went to one store, they said they didn't have it, and that was like the third place I went to. Or oh, fourth place. The first two, or two of the two, or two of the three, was uh, this place called Hands, which is like this um, multi-level store that has, has a whole bunch of stuff, a whole bunch of different stuff. Both sold out. Mm. That was another place I went to. Oh, um, in Akihabara. The Daiva store or something? Yeah, Daiva? It was a big electric store or something. They had everything too. They had a bunch of floors. And each floor had different, you know, it was a different section. So the floor that I went to for that, it was just like a whole bunch of um, figures and stuff and animation. So anime, Legos, mm, all that stuff. But yeah, they were sold out too. And that was a big store. So I guess there's like a craze for it. Mm. I don't know. I'll check out Kyoto and Osaka. I mean, Tokyo is like the main city, so of course people are gonna want. Of course people can come there and try to get it or something. <clears throat> but Kyoto, Osaka is more more low key. You're there for like the the vibes. What was I talking about? Okay, okay. If we go by Tokyo time, it's in about 40 minutes. Whew. It's insane. Turning 35. Of course, I gotta try that 7 Eleven pudding, right? I heard. I just heard. That there was like a special way to open this. Oh, I was wrong. This must be a different kind. <laughs> mm, yeah, this is the kind you just eat. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, it's the kind you just eat. My bad. <laughs> From 7 Eleven. I think I've seen this on like some Instagram posts, some influencers like try it. The creme brulee. And 7 Eleven, it's ice cold. I'm finding the freezer section, or you know, the little, the little freezer with all the ice creams. No, oh, ice cream, it's ice cream, creme brulee ice cream. Oh my god, my goodness. Mmm, mmm, this is the one. If you like creme brulee, if you like ice cream, if you like sweet things. If you just want to try something, part of that. Mm. 
You know why I have to do that? It's because I waited too long and I think the ice cream melted a little bit. It's still good though. This is a 10 out of 10. You have to try. You must. And it's at 7 Eleven, so. Not like, no excuse. Mm. Alright. That was delicious. <laughs>